Our relationship with food is never ending. We eat to survive, we eat for pleasure, and we eat to socialize. Once upon a time, people ate just about anything they could get their hands on because food was scarce. Today, however, the people of some countries have food in abundance, and this has given rise to a myriad of diets, from no carbs to no sweets and even no meat. Today, many people will go vegetarian or vegan to avoid eating meat or animal byproducts. This may be to lose weight, to increase health, or possibly a choice revolving around the ethics of not eating animals. Yet even with the ingredients listed on packaged foods, you may not actually realize the animal products used in what you eat. From sugar refining to food coloring, animals are a staple in our relationship with food. Join me as we take a look at a few animal ingredients you may not know are used in foods you may currently enjoy. Gelatin is in so many foods we eat. It is found in most gummy snacks, a lot of fruity fillings like in Pop-Tarts, and some cereals, yogurts, marshmallows, jello, and much more. It's also often used as a coating for some vitamin and supplement pills. Gelatin in general gives food that chewy or squishy consistency. It's listed on food packages, but you might think twice about eating it when you find out how it's made. To make gelatin, skin, bones, and certain tissues are boiled. These animal parts usually come from pigs or cows. These boiling parts go through several processes of filtration, grinding, and sifting. The earliest records of gelatin being used were from 15th century England, using cow hooves. Ever wonder what natural flavors means on the ingredient list you're looking at on one of your favorite foods? Well, in some cases, it could just mean secretions of a beaver's anal gland. Now, I'm not sure how exactly this was discovered, and I'm not sure that I want to. But somehow, someone came up with a brilliant idea of using beaver caster sacs to help flavor raspberry, strawberry, and vanilla food products. This means anything from sweet drinks to ice cream to baked goods could have beaver anal gland secretions lurking inside. The name of the additive made from these beavers is called castorium. Now castorium doesn't actually come from inside the anal gland, but rather from the castor sacs, which are so close to the anal gland that castorium often gets anal secretions mixed within it. The castorium is essentially milked out of the beaver. While some might not actually call this meat, the idea that this red food coloring is made with powdered insect may just unsettle your stomach. All the way until 2009, this crushed bug coloring aid was also listed on packaging as a natural flavor. Now listed as carmine or cochineal, it's doubtful that listing notifies people any better about the contents found within. Some food you may find carmine or cochineal in include canned red fruits like cherries, yogurts, ice cream, candy, soda pop, and fruit drinks. Red 4 was discovered to be in use by the Aztecs, mainly as dye for fabric goods they created. But with psychological analysis finding people like pretty, vibrant colors, Red 4 would become approved as a food coloring. All you have to do is dry out the cochineal insects and crush them into a fine powder. Add a little acidic alcohol solution and you'll soon have the reddish cherry pie filling on the block. If the idea that your strawberry ice cream could possibly be made with boiled pork skin, beaver anal gland secretions, and crushed bugs hasn't had you tossing out your Ben & Jerry's yet, the sugar it contains might just have been refined using the charred bones of some unlucky animal. White sugar in many countries is often processed using bone char, the result of charring black the bones of cattle. Bone char, also known as natural carbon, is used to make sugar super white. Like the cochineal bugs or the carbon monoxide in packaged red meat, bone char is used to make food look more appealing to the consumer. It seems our fondness of sharp and bright colors has created all sorts of nauseating processes. Perhaps by now you're turned off of food, but you have to eat something to survive. 
You might be thinking you'll just stick to bread and water, but not so fast. Are you really sure you want to do that? Many bread products are made with an additive to increase their longevity called L-cysteine. Unfortunately for vegans, vegetarians, or anyone with a queasy stomach, L-cysteine is made by boiling human hair, pig hair, or duck feathers. Take your pick, the mental image is not fun. There you have it. From the beef tallow in your Twinkies to the cochineal buds in your cherry pie, it seems food producers are in love with using animal products. If your code of ethics makes you want to stay away from animal products, then remember these ingredients and check your food labeling. And even if you eat meat, you just might find yourself shying away from that beaver anal gland secretion raspberry tea. If you learned something new, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, my friends, never stop gnawing.